18 days ago, a would-be assassin managed to climb onto a roof 400 feet from the stage where the former president and leading presidential candidate Donald Trump was speaking. The assassin's bullet struck President Trump, narrowly missing a fatal blow thanks to a last-minute head turn. Tragically, not everyone was so fortunate. A beloved husband and father in the audience was killed, his life stolen in an instant. Two others remain seriously injured, their futures uncertain. The lives of law enforcement officers working the event and those in the audience have been forever changed. Yet the media has shamefully moved on to other stories and Google has been caught trying to suppress iconic images of a bloody Donald Trump, images showcasing the resolve of our nation in the face of the attack. But the American people have not forgotten and we will not forget. There is no question that this was a monumental failure by the Secret Service. They had one job and they failed. We know that. What remains unclear is who specifically failed, how they failed, and what must, be, what must be done to ensure that something like this never happens again. America deserves to know that those responsible for this failure are frankly not going to be in charge of securing the upcoming Democrat National Convention. We need to know that someone's been placed on suspension, that someone won't be in charge of the next Donald Trump rally. Now, I was encouraged to hear that the acting director, Roe, has initiated a disciplinary investigation in addition to the ongoing Secret Service policy review. This is an important step. However, real accountability will require a comprehensive examination of all the facts, which still remain unclear. This past Friday, my investigative team went to Pennsylvania to meet with local law enforcement and document the scene. One of the concerning things my team was told is that no one from Secret Service has talked to them since the shooting. I don't know how an investigation into what failed can be conducted without talking to the officers and agencies who were relied upon to do much of the work. Many questions remain unanswered about the planning and performance of security for July 13th. While a host of errors led to this security disaster, we now know local enforcement officers were suspicious of the shooter 90 minutes in advance of the shooting. There are two glaring issues we need to focus on. First, why were the AGR grounds and the roof left unattended? Why was the AGR building, the shooter's perch, left outside the perimeter? Local law enforcement told my staff that they specifically flagged the vulnerability of the building to the Secret Service and were told that it would be taken care of. Clearly, these vulnerabilities were not addressed. Second, why was Donald Trump allowed to take the stage and why wasn't he removed from the stage when a suspicious individual was taking increasingly suspicious activities? Over 20 minutes before President Trump began his speech, the Secret Service Command Center had been made aware of an individual with a rangefinder. At least 10 minutes before it was confirmed, the Secret Service's counter-sniper team had made, been made aware of the suspicious subject and provided a photograph and a detailed description. Why was the event not delayed until the individual was found and checked out? Interviews with local law enforcement paint a different picture in critical places from what we have been told by the Secret Service in other briefings. Now we need to hear from the Secret Service agents responsible for security that day. Our committee has formally requested interviews with those agents, but we have not yet been allowed to speak to them. I expect Director Rowe today to tell us when we will be allowed to talk to these people. Finally, let me close with this. Mistakes, grave mistakes were made on July 13th, but that does not take away from the bravery of dozens of federal, state, and local officers that day. We are grateful for their sacrifices and professionalism. They deserve the truth now also. It is our duty and our utmost responsibility to ensure that we learn from this failure and hold those responsible accountable.